Greetings, greetings, greetings. We are here with you at this moment. We are so pleased to be with you. We are settling in, settling in. We have a slightly unusual connection with you tonight, which we will explain in a moment. But we ask you, please open your hearts, open your minds, your eyes, be receptive for we are connecting with you in an unusual for you manner. You may feel a little hmm, vertigo or hmm, as though your reality is a little jolted. Do not worry. Do not worry. Hmm. Hmm. Our spark is staying with us tonight. We keep her in the back. Her experience will be useful for our lesson with you tonight. Hmm. Hmm. You understand, of course, that Time is ever flowing, but as it flows, it flows in all directions at once. If you are in a boat traversing a river, it is more likely you will start at the top of the current and let the current carry you where you go. Occasionally you navigate but it carries you to where you wish to go. However, this does not mean you are required to always travel in one direction through one method. There are many methods of travel. You may get out of the water and use your excellent legs, or you may climb or you may realize gravity is the great human hoax and choose to fly. <laughs> oh. yes, there are many ways of travel. Additionally, you need not travel in one direction. The river flows this way, but you may go up the river or away from the river altogether. Hmm. There are such a lovely variety just because you choose to stay in your little boat and only travel in one direction does not mean all others cease to exist and when you put a hood upon your head so you may not see them as you travel they still will not cease to exist and when you release the or so that your boat is carrying you and you have no choice in the matter because you have hooded yourself and perhaps muffled your ears, the other methods still do not cease to exist. We are inviting you to release the hood and jump out of the boat to swim or fly. You are not beholden to the one way. For, of course, we speak in parable on time. You have many skills and abilities you do not use. You allow time to carry you only in one direction. We have taught you some lovely little techniques for understanding that time is more than just a boat in the rapids. There's more to time you may utilize when you choose to awaken from this dream you have cast yourselves in, a collective dream. We shared with our spark the memory 
and asked her in turn to share with you of what is awaiting you. When you were children, would not you have the experience your parents say, once you clean your room, we can go out and do something nice. But if you do not clean your room, we will not do the nice thing. Then you go to your room, you think, ah, I want the nice thing. So you clean quickly or you go to your room, you do not clean. And you do not enjoy the nice thing. Then your room becomes more and more fetid, disgusting, and your parents punish you. You develop a rift in your relationship. This is as humans, the human collective, is treating your earth. Your beautiful mother earth is saying, clean your room, then you will have something beautiful. But the humans choose to go, no, I am a petulant child. I will not clean my room. Hmm. Hmm. You think upon yourselves, but we see the importance of this. We do what we can. It's just we cannot force all of humanity. Why do they not see what we see? We are mere mortals. We see. Why do they not see? The problem is you are not mere mortals. You are experienced mortals or others. But so long as you choose to live as a mortal, as a human, you are, of course, a human. So you think that you are in the same class and category as the humans that you say, why are they holding us back? But of course, these are the human collective as humanity is currently evolved to. You're a little more evolved. Therefore, you must, by nature of being the elder, more experienced souls, you must become a teacher, an influencer, or effective in other ways. If you are an adult, you cannot compare yourself to an elementary school child. You cannot. If you are an experienced soul, you cannot compare yourself to the enclave. You cannot. You must take responsibility for where you are at and what capabilities you bring to this planet. It is not upon your shoulders to force humanity to evolve. But we tell you, you have more influence than you believe you do. Do you understand this? Have we questions or concerns? For certainly you are a humble group. We hear many thoughts saying, oh, shucks, I'm not all that. But hmm, we tell you, you are. Do we have any questions, comments, concerns? <laughs> 